Next tonight, the UK's oldest council estate has won a campaign to save its local laundrette. Residents were shocked when they turned up earlier this year to find out the locks had been changed and they no longer had a place to wash their clothes. Then came a community campaign to save a special place that brings people together in the heart of East London. Anila Dami went to meet some of them. A warm welcome back after nearly two months of dry spells at this East London laundrette. We're back. These whirring washing machines have served the Boundary Estate residents in Bethnal Green for almost 30 years, but stopped spinning when closed by the council suddenly in February. What did it mean to you when this laundrette closed? Um, oh, it was devastating. You know, it's big. It's part of the community, but it's, you know, it's where I do my washing. Tina's worked here for 21 years and was out of a job overnight. That was hard when we closed down, having to go to a job centre because never been to one before. And then to after petitions, then to get our jobs back, that was just amazing. It's a community laundrette. Uh, we serve the customers and it's a family event here. Her colleague Mina feels the same. Oh, I, I'm so happy. There's nice uh, people and nice customers nice colleagues. After it closed, the Boundary Tenants and Residents Association launched a petition which garnered around 2,500 signatures in just a few weeks. <laughs> and the council did a swift U-turn, giving people a place to also read and chat. Uh, nobody takes talk to you. And in a big city as London, I think it is important that uh, somehow, uh, in certain area, you can find this kind of uh, community. Sepp owns a local business and is happy to be able to pop in again. How much of a difference does it make having this service close to your business? It's, it's for me, it's like a luxury. It's crucial because we are a very small independent business and it's community based. With a temporary tenancy, this laundrette family says they'll keep on fighting and a petition is ongoing. Tower Hamlets Council says they're pleased to be able to issue a tenancy that provides the fastest option to allow the laundrette to reopen and that they'll be meeting with tenants in the next few weeks to discuss longer term arrangements. Staff and residents don't want their doors to close again and hope the machines will keep on spinning. Anila Dami, ITV News. From the outside, the building on Silverdale Street in Birkenhead looks like a thousand other dowdy Victorian semis, but go through its front door and the ground floor flat takes you into an extraordinary fantasy world of strange creatures and designs. Ron's place is the secret life's work of amateur artist Ron Gittings. Now, as Kelly Foran reports, it's been granted listed status. Tucked away in a leafy street in Birkenhead, from the outside, this house looks quite unassuming, but as the saying goes, you really don't know what goes on behind closed doors. This is Ron's place, and in the 30 years he rented here, I think it's fair to say he did a bit more than just add a few shelves. It was only after Ron died in 2019 that people realised what was inside. There's no surface from floor to ceiling that's untouched. And now it's been granted grade two listed status. And it seems like he was pushing this luck with the landlord when it comes to decorating. He did have it written into his contract when he moved in in the 80s that he could do whatever he wanted inside. And yeah, he ran with that and he created this most fantastical world. Literally, as soon as you step through the door, you're into an alternative world. There's a living room with a lion sculpted by hand, a kitchen oven like you've never seen before, and a fireplace transformed into this three metre tall minotaur. Ron created this fireplace from cement and sand and chicken wire, and he actually used this to cook. Ron's friends and family fought hard to keep his home the way he wanted. It would be such a shame for it to just be painted white or painted duck egg green. You know, this is imaginative, it's unusual, it's unique. They're hoping to eventually give guided tours, but for now, Ron's magical world will be kept locked away. Kelly Foran, ITV News, Birkenhead.